sport. Um, so as usual, you'll just need a little bit of floor space and a mat if you have one. Um, so usually we try to do a full kind of 360 of our, both our abdominals, our obliques and our lower back glutes area. Today, it's very much just gonna be focused on the abdominals area. Um, so a lot of the time I talk about breathing, things like how to sync your breathing with the movement. Most of the exercises today are gonna to really nail that down. So I'm gonna be like a bit of a broken record reminding you when to breathe. But uh, hopefully just by putting in little pauses and really focusing on that breathing, you'll actually feel quite a, a strong connection with some of these exercises by the, by the time we're done, you'll definitely be feeling something. So warm up wise, we're just gonna come lengthways along our mat. I want you to start in this position, usual few exercises that we do. So hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And I just want you to curve your back and then arch your back. Okay, so cat cow or cat camel, you basically tuck in the chin in, tuck in the hips in, then arching everything. You can do a little bit of side to side movement as well. Lengthen the hips, lengthen the rib cage while you shorten the other side. Just do some natural movement to kind of loosen up that midsection. Okay, from there we're going to sit back into child's pose. Two hands stay out in front. Make the body, upper body nice and long. Get a bit of a stretch into your spine. Okay, from there we're going to lie completely flat. Deep breath in. And then as we push up, I want you to breathe out and look back. So you should feel a nice stretch all down the front just here. And then we're going to hinge back into a bit of a downward dog like so. And we're going to do that once more. Okay, so lying flat. Take your deep breath in here. And then as you breathe out, you push up. Put in some natural movement if you want. Just kind of a twist left and right. Whatever you feel like needs to be stretched out. And then one last time. Hinge back up into downward dog. Get a bit of a stretch into the calves, the shoulders, and the upper back. Okay. And relax. So, we're going to start lying on our backs today. We're going to have two exercises to do at a time. So, 30 seconds of one, 30 seconds of another. Quick break, repeat. Then we move on. Okay? But like I said, the theme today is breathing. So, what we're going to do is first, two hands over the chest. Fill the lungs before you leave the ground. And then exhale. All the way up. So that when you're here, your lungs are empty. And then you can inhale as you come back down. So first few reps might be a bit iffy for you trying to figure out how much breath to let in or let out, but figure it out. And the idea is to have empty lungs by the time you're at the top. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathing out all the way up into your V-sit, or sorry, your L-sit position. So I'm gonna be doing quite a lot of talking. So at times my breathing might be a little bit out of sync, but for you, really focus on inhaling on the way down and then exhaling as you come up. So why are we doing this? Well, as you breathe out, you get a much stronger contraction in those muscles down here, the abdominal muscles, and you'll connect with the exercise a lot better. Last rep, you have three seconds to go, breathing out all the way up, inhaling on the way back down, and relax, okay? Same idea, but I want you to come right up onto your bum this time, nice straight back. You can have your fingertips down, hinge slightly back, and we're gonna sink our breathing again, so deep breath in, exhale, as the knees come in, okay? Inhale as they go out, exhale as they come in. Okay, if that's too hard, you can be resting them on the ground each time. 30 seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so big, strong breath out each time those knees come up. Another really good reason to do this is that by having no air in this area, the knees can come up further. You can use a little bit of extra, extra abdominal muscle. But like I said, your easier option would be to be kind of resting them on the ground. They could maybe bring one up at a time like so, or you can be doing both at time to make it a little bit tougher. Three seconds, two, and one. Relax, we're gonna lie completely flat, take a quick break, that's one round done, so 30 and 30. Couple of deep breaths, okay, fill the lungs, three, two, one, exhale, all the way up, perfect L, inhale on the way back down. So try to do this movement here as smooth as you can, as little swinging as possible. You've probably heard me say it before, you wanna be coming up one vertebrae at a time and going back down one vertebrae at a time. Just slowly lowering yourself down under lots of control. Last three, two, and one. Quick break, change position, up onto your bum, fingertips down, and you're either doing the single leg version 
or you can be doing two legs off the ground at once. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Exhale, empty those lungs. Inhaling as the legs go back in. If you want to make it harder, hands could be off the ground, or you can see how far back you can take it. Come back to here, see if you can still regain that, that balance and come back up. Hands down is your medium, then single leg is your easy. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Relax down, reposition, give the abs a quick break. So, you'll probably realize just by syncing up your breathing, the abs have to work just that little bit harder. You're forcing them to work harder. But you get a lot more benefit out of some of the exercises that you might have been doing a little bit sloppy to begin with. Hopefully this helps a little bit. So, up next we're going to be in a plank position. So, don't worry about your wrists or anything, you can be on your forearms. So, a standard plank position like so. Elbows down, forearms down, hands down. Okay? You're going to set yourself up. Then once you're in position, okay, empty the lungs. As one leg comes up. Just to the sides a little bit, okay? So you'll definitely feel this a little bit more on the obliques, but because you're in that plank position, the front of your abs is definitely going to be working too. And as usual, we're exhaling. Big breath out as that knee comes up, okay? Into position now. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. So you're in plank. Exhale as the knee comes up. Inhale as it goes back down. So you might find as well, when you're sinking your breathing, Kind of forces you to do the exercises slower, but that's good. That usually means the quality will stay there. And in these type of exercises, these type of workouts, you'd rather do a few exercises or a few reps with really good quality. Three, two, and one. Knees down. So yeah, you'd rather be doing fewer reps, greater quality, than doing 20 or 30 sloppy, messy reps. So, onto your back again. So you've got your plank as the first exercise. Onto your back. This time the whole upper portion of your spine is going to stay on the floor. Hands go down. We've done this a million times before. You're going to do a leg raise or a leg curl. So deep breath in. Tailbone comes off the ground. Just as the last bit of breath leaves the lungs. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. So options. Let's say two legs but with a bent knee. That's your medium. So what I'm doing right now would be your medium level difficulty. You want to make it tougher, straighten out the legs. Tailbone still needs to leave the ground. You want to make it easier, do two knees, bring the back out, rest them on the ground. You'll feel the tension leave, and then you can go again. So no matter which version you're doing, exhale every time. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. That's one round done. Okay? So we're going back to our plank. Take a few seconds after the, the round. So after you've done the first two exercises, take a little breather. A lot of these exercises are focusing on that same area. So we're not breaking it up into different body parts like we usually do. So by the end of this 10 minutes or 15 minutes, those abs will be really, really feeling it, really fatigued. So back into your front plank position. Starting in three seconds. Two, one. Okay, elbows and forearms are down. Abs are locked tight. You can be squeezing your glutes here too as well. Keep some of that pressure off the lower back. Where's your breathing? Big breath out as that knee comes up. If you need breaks, just drop your knees for a few seconds, okay? If you want to make it tougher, do a few reps in a row on the same leg. And then swap. You have five to go, folks. Four, three, two, and one. Super. Knees down. Shift back. Anytime I do sort of plank-based exercise, it's always nice to come back in the trials pose just for a few seconds afterwards. Okay, next, on our backs. Okay, finish off this round. Two hands down. You're doing some form of leg raise, whether it was bent knees or straight legs. Three, two, one. Deep breath in. Exhale as the legs come up. So those last few bits of air should be leaving the lungs as your tailbone leaves the floor so make sure that tailbone is coming up otherwise those lower abs are staying switched off and we really want to recruit them your other options here were straight legs which is this one or some of you are doing single leg or sorry double leg but you're resting your legs down last four three two and one relax super work well done everyone 
you're about halfway through already, okay? So you've done two kind of blocks or two pairings of exercises and you've done them twice as well. So what's next? We have toe taps and kind of a V-sit hold. So we'll do the, the V-sit hold first thing as I'm in position. So you're gonna be up on your bum again. This time one leg is gonna stay down. You are slightly tilted back. Take that deep breath in, that's the theme of the day. And as you exhale, grab the foot, back down. Okay, doesn't seem that challenging, okay, but wait till you're in position, wait till you're really focused on that forceful breath out. As that leg comes in, you'll feel those muscles really switch on. If you want, you could do two legs at once, you can go, a little bit of a balance component then. Similar to the exercise we did in round one, or block one. Okay, so we'll start with that one. Try it single leg first. Three, two, one, let's go. Two hands, grab the same foot. There'll be a slight upper, upper body inward twist. Okay, that's okay. That's how the abs are designed to work. Really strong breath out each and every time. Inhaling as the leg goes back out beside the other one. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, nice work, lying flat down. So, this time, we've done our full sit up. Our very first exercise today was a full sit up where the entire upper back came off the floor, pretty much every portion of your spine. Now, we're just gonna peel the shoulders up. So our upper half's gonna do a bit of a crunch, bottom half's gonna do a single leg raise. Okay, and by keeping your leg down, you'll be really able to focus on your breathing. So don't do this double leg, even if you can. I want you to focus on single today. So it's gonna look like this, two hands overhead, deep breath in. Okay, so you'll notice just your shoulders coming off the ground. 30 seconds, folks. Three, two, one, let's go. So the leg that's staying on the ground, you can be putting a little bit of pressure down into the floor through that heel to kind of stabilize the body and maybe even to help you off the ground if you're starting to struggle. As usual, if you're starting to feel this somewhere you don't want to, like any of these exercises, just stop, take a break, pause the video, or even just let me keep going, and you join back in when you're ready. Three, two, and one. Relax, super work, Evan, well done. One, of the, one more round of those two exercises, so you're back up sitting nice and tall, heels are on the ground, slightly tilt the back, take a deep breath in, we're gonna come up and grab one of our feet or even just tap it with both your hands. Three, two, one, let's go. So you're trying to be as strict as you can, big breath out as the leg comes up. Those lungs should be empty just as the foot gets close to you. And there is that slight inward twist each and every time. This is your last time doing this exercise though, so make these last few reps good quality. Big, strong breath out. Hopefully you've got some breathing, good breathing habits by the end of this class. Three, two, and one. Brilliant, well done, lying back. Quick break, let the abs recover whatever way they can. Your legs will be straight for this one. Hands up overhead, or meeting one of our legs somewhere around here, just over the midsection. Remember, shoulders must leave the ground. Three, two, one. Breathing in, exhale, you come up, meet that foot halfway. And don't worry if you're not touching the foot, Okay, just get the two hands close to it. So depending on how long your arms are, you might not be here, you might be here. You just do what works for your body, but it's more about what's happening down here, okay? It's what the midsection is doing. And hopefully what's happening to you is it's going from being quite long to shortening, okay? That's how we know the abs are doing their job. Five seconds, keep those deep breaths. Exhaling as you come up, three, two, and one, relax, super. That's three blocks done, everybody, three blocks. You have one final exercise to do. Okay, so you don't have another block to do, just one to do. 40 seconds long, we're gonna do something upper body for 20 seconds and something lower body for 20 seconds. Then we're finished, we'll get a quick stretch. So, just a bit of a challenge. Very different to everything we've been doing. It's actually very hard to sink your breathing with, so just keep that air flowing. Okay, so these type of exercises are all about knowing when to sink your breathing and when to just keep it natural. So you'll be in a plank position, elbows down, hands down, standing like so. First 20 seconds, you're tapping out in front. We've definitely done this before. You will need to shift your weight over and back just to allow that hand to go out, that's fine. But just watch out that it doesn't turn into a twist like this. 
That's your first 20 seconds. Then you're going to stop your taps, stay in your plank, and bring in some leg abduction. Abduction just means the leg goes out to the side, taps the floor, and it comes back. Okay, so one round of that, then we're finished. So get into your plank position now, and I'll count you into it. First 20 seconds, the hands are going out in front. Three, two, one, let's go. You're in your plank, tapping those fingertips. Now there's not any weight, or not a lot of weight, going through that hand. Just pick a point on the floor. Maybe you've got your water bottle out there. Something to touch, and then you bring it back. It's all about what the other three limbs are doing when that hand is out there. Last five seconds. Four, three, get the legs ready. Two, one, same idea now with the legs. So your two elbows stay down. Remember, you're just doing this the one time, folks. Tap the toes, not much weight going through it at all. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, sit back, make that body nice and long. Deep breaths, theme of the class, keep that deep breath. Right to the end, even into the stretch. So most of our exercises there today folded us in half, okay? Wasn't a lot of twisting, wasn't a ton of holds either. It was mostly forward and backward movement, flexion and extension of the spine or the trunk. So we're just gonna do two stretches, one flexing, one extending. So same as we did at the start, want you to lie completely flat, take a deep breath, don't engage the abs at all, okay? Just relax them and then push up and breathe out. So you're really extending that midsection, getting a nice stretch down the front of the abs, and then flip it over into flexion, okay? Head down, two hands out in front, really switching off. Okay, bring it into the center of your mat, okay? Small gap between the knees, couple of twists, and shake it out. Awesome workout and really, really good work. So. Like I said, not too many new exercises for you there today, but I've given you a new way to do them. So really, really, really focusing on your breathing and just showing you that when you're just absolutely running out of air at the top of a movement, you'll feel that last 10% or that last 15% of your abs really tighten up and engage, okay? Really good way to strengthen that area and just to be more efficient in your exercise. So hopefully you can work on that habit for another few days and uh, I'll see you here again next week. Brilliant work, everyone. Well done. Give us a shout out on Instagram if you've done this on uh, or if you found this through social media, make sure you tag Trinity Sport. All right? See you all later.